Hello and welcome to my channel. I am Akram and you are watching Knowledge360. In this video, we will discuss about DBLink in PostgreSQL database. Okay, let me tell you about few things about DBLink. DBLink is used when we uh, do cross database work. For example, I have some tables or my procedures or functions in one database, but I want to access them through other database. For example, I have few things over here, DVD rental database, and I want to access from Postgres database or Postgres user. Okay, so in that case, DB link is useful, and in this case, I'll be using my local host. But you can apply the same technique for remote database as well. Okay, so uh, let me start with uh, creating a few things, and with the stepwise, we'll go. And this DB link video will be useful when we'll cover the next topic uh, or that um, how to use PG agent job for non postgres database okay this is a major issue that i have been getting lots of requests to make video on this so i'll be covering that and i found a way how to make this work okay so i'll do that but before that i'll explain all about db link how to create db link and how useful this db link is and i'll make another video which is which will cover lots of there are lots of thing uh, with dbling lots of parameters and functions are there so i'll cover all those things in my upcoming videos so keep subscribe my channel to get the notifications and like the video if you found it useful okay so let's start uh, step by step okay so as i told i will create a dbling over postgres database and i'll access objects from the dvd rental database okay so uh, say here my host database is Postgres and my remote database is DV rental, DVD rental. Okay, you can assume as per your requirement. Okay, uh, for uh, simplicity, I'm saying like this this is my host database Postgres and this is my remote database. So I'll create the DB link on Postgres database. Okay, I have opened a query tool of Postgres. First, what I need to do is I need to create the extension. Okay, if I show you here extension, I have these three extensions, but I don't have the extension of DB link. So I need to create that first. Okay, this is the statement to create the extension DB link. Let me create this. Okay, the extension is completed and it is created. Let me refresh this one. Okay, now I have DB link here. Now, next step will be creating the remote server for that i'll do this okay this is the syntax create server the server name whatever you want to give and please provide a meaningful name to it okay and then uh, i have options here i'll explain a bit about it and host i'm mentioning here localhost because i my remote database is in this in this database only which is running on my local local host you can give your url or ip address whatever you have for the host and the db name to which db name uh, to which database i want to connect to so that is i have already mentioned here dvd rental and what is the port number okay so it's simple uh, let me create this one okay the server is created now next thing is to give the grant to the user okay so as i'm creating uh, this db link on postgres database so i'll give the proper grant to the user to access this okay grant is also succeed next step is to map that postgres database on which i'm creating this db link with the db link actual that i have created okay so this is the statement create user mapping for this user and the server that i have remote server that i have created this one this name and the user of your host user okay so i have given i have given the user postgres and my password for this user is root okay so i'll map this okay so now mapping is also completed next step is to check the db link if db link is connecting or not so for that we have this function db link connect and this is the first parameter connect underscore db underscore link and the name of the db link so i can check that okay so it returned me with status okay that means we, our db link is up and running i can check through this now what i'll do i'll go to my the remote database and i'll create one table there 
okay so let me do that that will be my remote table okay I'm creating a simple table called EMP okay the table is created I can verify the same one thing you can remember that I'm not mentioning any schema name before because I'm using the default schema public okay so if I expand this one I can see my table employee table is created here with two columns EMP ID and EMP name okay so this table is created in the rem remote database if I show you the data there should not be any data because I, because I just created this table okay so there is no data now what I'll do I'll try to insert some data using this database means this Postgres database if I show you select star from EMP it will show me that there is no table called EMP exist in this database okay see I'll get this error but what I'm trying to do I'll access the remote database which is which resides in the DVD rental database not in Postgres database so for that I need DB link here okay so this is the syntax to connect DB link and perform any operations okay so for that function is DB link underscore execute okay and the first parameter as we know we need to mention this connect con, con DB link and then our statement okay so I have mentioned my insert statement insert into EMP EMP ID a name values values as this is a numeric so I can mention like this seven thala for a reason and then I have mentioned my name over here okay and when we are storing any string things so I need to provide uh, like this uh, double quote okay otherwise the string will not be taken properly so when I execute this one what I'm expecting I am uh, I expect that I should get one record inserted into EMP database which is in the DVD rental database not in the Postgres database okay let's execute it okay so it says that uh, one record is inserted if I go to the DVD, <coughs> DVD rental database and I see I should have a record yes I do have and how I can check that the the same thing without going to the DVD rental because uh, I may not have access to uh, go to my remote server remote database and check but I want to check from this database that is the hosting database so that is also possible let me show you so this way I can access the database data or which resides in the remote database from my host database using DB link okay so this is the function select star from DB link and the first parameter is this one and then select star from EMP and as you can mention these things okay column A and column B and I can mention anything here okay see as I'm getting data from here and I can insert more records as well like insert into EMP I can mention like three I can mention this okay one more record is inserted and again I can check the same okay so in this video I have covered the basics thing of DB link in the next video I'll cover some more advanced uh, things for DB link and also uh, I'll show you how we how this DB link is useful when we want to schedule any uh, pages and job in Postgres database because there is a problem with Postgres database that whatever you have you are scheduling jobs that is applicable for Postgres database only because the owner is the Postgres user okay so if I if I have a, if I have I have any job that will that is to be executed on other database than Postgres database that is the master database so that is not working okay uh, if possible I can show that problem as well so that uh, to that to that problem the solution is db link what i have found um, through my research so i'll cover those things in upcoming videos so subscribe my channel to get the notifications and also do like and uh, do leave a comment if uh, this video was helpful so let's meet in the next video till then take care bye bye